What's going on guys, Josh here from Momentum Productions and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to incorporate a tilted horizon effect in your footage. Now we're gonna be using the Jew and Crane version two today and this also works with any other sort of gimbal that allows you to control its roll access. Now to start off, let's talk about the tilted horizon effect, also known as the Dutch angle. The Dutch angle or the tilted horizon effect will give the audience an abstract view of your work. It will also allow them to be a little bit disoriented. So it's a great technique to incorporate because it's great for horror flicks, action flicks, basically anything where you want your footage to look a little bit more abstract and different. So in order for us to use the roll axis on the Jew and Crane, we're gonna go ahead and tap on the mode button twice. One, two. Once we do that, we'll be able to use the joystick and just push it to the right, push it to the left, and the Jew and Crane will start rolling. <laughs> so we're gonna get that tilted horizon effect. So I'm gonna be showing you how to use this tilted horizon effect while it's static and while it's moving. So we're gonna be dollying in and dollying out while the tilted horizon effect is in motion and static. All right, enough talk, let's get to the action. By tapping the mode button twice, we will be able to access roll control. Here's how our basic camera move will look like. Even though this gimbal move may seem easy, it actually isn't because we have to work on the consistency of this tilted horizon effect. You want to make sure that you go either left to right or right to left at the same constant speed. So I'm going to show you my number one trick for getting that consistency while using the joystick. Many people think that controlling the Jew and Crane's joystick is just as easy as touching it. Well, that's not the case here. Since consistency is a really big part of what we want to shoot, we have to add some pressure to the joystick. Press down onto the joystick, not too hard, but have a firm grip with your thumb. That way, as we move left to right or right to left, we will get the consistency desired. Here is what our first shot will look like. Notice how the tilted horizon effect can add an abstract and cinematic element to your footage. In this next shot, I decided to use a static tilted horizon. The horizon does not change, it stays at the same degree. This shot is perfect for narrow areas. It gives off that creepy cinematic vibe. I strongly encourage you to try this shot at home or at your next shoot. In order to execute the shot properly, remember to keep the gimbal movement consistent and use the heel to toe technique in order to get smooth and stable shots. Also, do not forget to plan and time your moves. That way the tilted horizon effect will last as long as your walk does. Remember, you don't want to cut anything short. Timing is everything. Going on to our next shot, we are also incorporating the moving Dutch angle here, except we are actually using a pan motion. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Since I'll be shooting a low angle shot, I will be shooting in inverted mode. Similar to my last shot, I will be starting off with a tilted horizon, and as I pan around the subject, the horizon's tilt will be changing. Notice the constant speed of the horizon's tilt. It's not speeding up or slowing down, it's always staying consistent. Consistency comes with practice, so make sure you get plenty of practice in when trying to create this move. Also, don't forget to apply my technique onto the joystick. That way, it will be much easier to control. When it comes down to body movements, take a look at how I control my distribution of weight between my left leg and my right leg. This will allow me to get extra smooth and stable shots without the need for taking any steps. The next shot incorporates a dolly in movement along with the tilted horizon or Dutch angle effect. If done properly, you can get some great results. In this shot, I'm also using inverted mode. Here, the camera will start low and end up a little bit higher. Don't forget the consistency plays a huge role in these kinds of shots. In this shot, take a look at how I'm distributing the weight between my two legs. I'm using my toes to help me with this shot as well. In order to minimize vibration and shaky footage, try to minimize steps at all times. 
All right guys, well that's how I use the tilted horizon effect or the Dutch angle technique in my videos. I hope this video was detailed enough for you to use this technique in your own videos because it can really incorporate a lot of abstract and artistic elements in your footage. This is something an audience is usually not used to seeing, which is why it can add that wow factor into your videos. So if you like this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and make sure to subscribe to this channel with notifications on. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see what you create. Bye-bye.